What's up, guys? Uh, the first beta of Zemporta 2 will be coming soon, sometime next week. It's almost ready. Um, but before we do that, uh, before I release that, I want to go through a uh, short tutorial about how you make widgets in this new version. Um, it's very similar to the old version, but I did try to make it a lot easier. Uh, okay, but before we do that, I'm going to uh, explain one specific caveat and why it is the way it is. And even though this issue existed in Zenporta 1 and people did complain about it, I'm, I want to explain why I didn't fix the issue and why I couldn't fix the issue. And that issue is simply that in order to create a widget, a new widget, not install a widget, you know, this create widget button, you must be in debug mode. And the reason for this is whenever you want to uh, display anything in Zenforo, it requires basically two things. It requires a view and a template. Now, in Zenforo, uh, views are created automatically if they don't exist. Um, well, it's not that they're created uh, automatically. It's that they're, you know, they're abstracted. Um, but templates are not created automatically. If a template doesn't exist, you can't display anything. Templates are absolutely required. And one of the requirements to make master templates in Zenforo is to be in debug mode. So if you can't create a master template, there's no reason to create a widget. So I made it so that if you're not in de debug mode, this create widget button will not show up. You must be in debug mode to create a widget. And uh, the good thing is, it's very easy to get into debug mode. Uh, Brogan, in his uh, Frequently Asked Questions thread, 5183, uh, you can actually see a very short and specific guide on how to create or how to enter debug mode and how to restrict it so it's only to your IP address. And it, it's, it's very easy, but you want to do this, this is how you, it's, it's done. You guys can figure that out. All right, so... Moving on from that caveat, let's uh, create a widget. Now I'm going to show an example of how to create a very simple widget. There are more complicated widgets you can do. Uh, creating a widget is very simple, uh, similar to creating an add-on, developing an add-on in Zenforo. I try to keep everything as familiar as possible. So uh, it is a lot simpler than creating an add-on, but uh, it's pretty much uh, the same. All right, so we click Create Widget and we get this uh, form field. So we're going to create a widget and what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed some uh, a Twitch stream. So let's call this Twitch embed. Uh, the title Twitch stream uh, embeds a Twitch stream into a block. All right, uh, version IDs, whatever, really doesn't matter. URL really doesn't matter. You can put install codes and uninstall codes to run scripts uh, during the install and uninstall process, uh, but that's mainly for advanced developers who know what they're doing, so let's ignore that for now. All right, we click Save, and the widget has been created, and it's Twitch Stream. Now, let's click on it. Now, clicking on it, there are no... Uh, options added. There's just the basic stuff, which is uh, who we're going to show it to, hide it to, things like that, as well as caching options. Now, caching options is basically only if you for if you have a base class. Uh, we're not going to have a base class for uh, this function, so there's nothing to be cached since uh, there's not going to be any script running in the background, so we can ignore that. Let's click Save so it only shows to administrative because you know, I'm showing an example. We don't need to see other people on my website seeing us do this. All right. But you will notice a big red bar, base template not found. As I said before, everything requires a template. The good thing is, right down here, it tells you what the base template has to be. This template must exist. So let's uh, create that template. I'm going to go to Templates. Create new template in the master style, because as I said, it has to be a master template. And then I'm going to, see, I already did this work before. And I'm just going to paste uh, my script. It, I mean, it, it's simple. It's the section, the secondary content, the title. It, it's basically everything that is required to create a block on your sidebar. And then this is the iframe embed code for Twitch. Now, there are a couple of things you'll see here. The w widget, which is just the uh, class of the widget. And then the widget link, which is a unique identifier, f the ID for it. 
Uh, another thing you'll see is this phrase, which starts with EWR widget Twitch Embed. I'm going to go back to this example over here, and we're going to take a look at this hint text. Any master template named with this prefix will automatically be included when you export this widget. That means any template I make that starts with this will automatically be linked to this widget. So when I export the widget, when I delete the widget, when I do anything to the widget, this template will be linked to it. So if I was doing, um, if I wanted custom CSS codes, I can create a widget called .css and it will be included. If I had a for each loop with bits, I can do uh, a bit. Basically, as long as it has that prefix, it will be linked to the widget. But we don't need that. So we're going to forget it for now. The next line, this also applies to master phrases and code event listeners. You can have phrases and code event listeners uh, that start with this as well. So let's create a phrase. As you can see, we have a phrase that we're going to need called widget twitch embed title. I'm going to create this phrase title and we're going to call it embedded stream and click save. And now this uh, um, phrase will also be linked to this widget. And then we have our iframe, which has another piece of data called W options. W options is just uh, the, l the values of all the options set to this widget. Right now, we have no options on this widget. So let's create one. Twitch embed underscore channel. Channel. And this is the channel we are embedding. Now, this. Uh, format parameter. Uh, we're only going to need a text box, uh, but I'm going to show uh, a few other things. So let's go to the spin box. Uh, let's say min equals 1, max equals 50, step equals 10. And then w if I did this, we would have a spin box. Let's do uh, unsigned integer, make the default 25, click save. And what we have here is a spin box. Now I can also do a uh, a checkbox, which is similar. Let's make a boolean, make the default value zero. It's probably going to be checked because the value is already set to 25. Yes, there we go. But as I said, we only need a string, so let's leave it as a checkbox string. Let's uh, name it to my channel, and let's set my channel it way run. And there we go. And now we have the channel right here. And this, uh, we named it Twitch Embed underscore channel. That's the option. And so let's uh, save this template. And when we re refresh this page, you're going to see that this error has disappeared. And then let's go into Layouts. Artic uh, sorry, wrong page. Article List. Let's add the widget. Twitch Embed. It can be titled anything we want. Save the widget, drag it to the block, click save, and then let's refresh this page. And voila, we have a widget. I'm offline right now, so let's uh, find the stream that isn't offline and include it. It's called Beyond the Summit. Go back to options. Whoops, widget options. Twitch stream. Let's change the channel to Beyond the Summit. Click Refresh. And we have our embedded stream right here. It's that simple. We have a widget. It depends on what. It was actually very simple. It wasn't much for us to do. Now, you can make more complicated widgets. If we look further down, look at the base class, um, we could, if we wanted, have a custom class that called on either of these two specific functions. Uh, let's go to one that already has it. Let's look at uh, today's birthdays. Today's birthdays. Why am I not caching this? I should cache this. Let's cache this once an hour. Click save. All right. So base class EWR Porta to widget birthdays. So let's open that up. We've got the birthdays here. And it's a very, it's, it's basically a model. And uh, 
if this model exists, it's going to try to run either of these two functions. Uh, one is get cached data, and one is get cached undata. I explain what these two things do down here. Get cache data will only be executed when the widget cache expires if a cache is defined. We have a cache divine, defined for one hour. So once an hour, this will be run and it will store the data in a cache. And this cache is accessed within a template. If this had a, uh, a cache, we would do w cached and that's where the data would be. Now, if we want to do it uncached, so for instance, we rename that to uncached data, then this, would, this function we run every time that the uh, widget is loaded, regardless of the cache settings. This will never be cached. And we would access that data through w uncached. Very simple. There are a few other uh, values we can uh, check here. As I said, w options, w widget, w widget with link. We can also do w title which would make the title of this block the title of the widget link which uh, is twitch embed rather than the phrase we used which was embedded stream there's also something you can do called w date time which would list the last time the cache was refreshed now uh, for specific functions you may have a need for that we don't all right so that's about it which is very easy to make as long as you are in debug mode. And I just wanted to get through that. Anyways, peace out, guys.